I have made up Harry Reid's connection to the Chinese on the solar farm. They are going to debunk it in a moment. So, Glenn, I just want you to understand, I know your entire operation, I know everything about you. You, you, I mean, you just don't think that you're the only one that has intel and information, right? I mean, you think everybody around you really likes what they're seeing going on? You think your own people really like it? I know all about you, Glenn. All right? And I understand that's why you're scared of me. Now, you know who I work for? You know who I'm an agent of? Freedom. Justice. A future. Stopping the tyrants. The tyrants aren't going to give us quarter, Glenn. We've got to break with them. And I agree we don't want to start a shooting war. We want to do whatever we can to stop that. I don't like the folks calling for a shooting war. Offensively. But, Glenn, if we cower and just, quote, get in our houses and, quote, don't follow the Constitution because it's not our religion. He says, that, that's not the religion now. No, no, the religion is God. Well, who defines that God? It certainly isn't you. So here's Glenn Beck implying that I, Alex Jones, am calling for offensive violence when I'm calling for the opposite. And you know that, but his audience isn't some of the same people. A lot of it is. And so they, they believe now. He's slandering, defiling, defaming uh, me to millions, tens of millions of people on stations I'm on. From Tennessee to Texas, from California to New York. They're hearing Alex Jones, man, he, he, he wants violence. He's Malcolm X. And, well, Glenn Beck says he's Martin Luther King. Actually, Malcolm X was not for offensive violence, and by the end of his life, he was no longer a racist and was no longer anti-white and realized that whites weren't inherently evil. Nobody was inherently evil because of their race or their color, and that's why they killed him. So, again, it's another slander on Malcolm X, if you actually know what Malcolm X actually said. So, let's go ahead now and go to Glenn Beck. We're going to skip this network break. This is so important. Here he is. whole thing is critical. And no one will tell that story. We must tell that story. And not for cover, not for anything else, but because it's right. You know, I've said, you've got to be that person when people are saying, come over here, come over here, come over here. That's going to happen soon. The government is going to say, come to us, even stronger than they are. The Alex Jones people are going to say, come to us, because we'll free you from that. And we have to be saying, don't do either. Don't, don't. Stay with God. Stay right here. Stay with God. Stay peaceful. Stay kind. Help people. Be charitable. It's going to get ugly. And, and, and by the way, that is a direct neuro-linguistic. People kept asking me about this years ago, so I went and looked into it, read about it, studied it. He's like, don't be with Alex Jones. Be with the government. Be with God. And he pulls his hands into him. Be with God. Be with Glenn Beck. And then he goes on, there's like an hour of this, saying that, that the Constitution's not God. It's actually bad, pretty much. Uh, and you just got to submit Romans 13. And I guess just get hauled off to the FEMA camp. That doesn't exist, but they've publicly built. So uh, this was this morning on the radio where it goes further. And, and again, the full tape is they want violence, they want violence, and then that's the Alex Jones group. Yes, I, I, I want violence, just like I want uh, to have nuclear war with Russia, which he's been pushing lately. I, you know, it's just getting so crazy, ladies and gentlemen, when you know what you're hearing is literally FBI scripting, and the guy's names on it are FBI assets. I mean, they have FBI assets writing articles saying I'm lying to people, Brandon Darby and Breitbart. I mean, that's how scared they are. Because you know what? If Harry Reid goes down for his Chinese dealings, and he should... A bunch of Republicans are, too. Yeah, let's get rid of all these old blue bloods. Let's get rid of all of them with the corruption and try to create some fairness in this country. Because there's nothing going to be left if we don't. Now, let's go to the next clip. Uh, this is uh, Glenn on his radio show this morning. They think, oh, well, you know, this will start a revolution, and then we'll have a glorious revolution, and we'll get our country back. How, how no, do you think no, that how works do you think out that well? Works? I, I, don't, I don't get that. No idea. I, I didn't think no that idea. works. Your Egypt he, analogy, as evidenced by their hashtag, American Spring. We've had the luxury of being Hit pause. one. We've been putting out American Spring 
as a because a lot of Republican groups have been doing that, but we're saying it's an idea. It's plant a garden, get involved, take over your city council politically, run for office, promote our ideas, expose the globalist. But see, it comes up. It, I'm no, no. I want a violent revolution, folks. I, he's now saying the violent group is the Alex Jones side. No, that's a bunch of government informants leading a lot of well-meaning hayseeds into a setup. And I've said that. Let's go back. See, that's why they hate me so much, folks, because I expose the entire paradigm. All the sides of it where you can decide. Let's go back to it. Decent movement. We have been together and we have gathered together. And there have been those pause again. who believe... Hear the programming. We are together. We have gathered together. I was reading a, a, a special forces thing from Vietnam, psych warfare manual that was declassified, and it tells him how to say, you are with me, I am with you, we are, I mean, it's just he talks in that NPR voice, and did you know, I mean, literally talking and lecturing his audience. I'm just putting my cards on the table here. Let's go back to it. Values and principles and God, and then there are those others that have wanted revolution. And pause. For a yeah, values, principles, and God. We're standing up saying we're in a political revolution, and if they attack us, we'll defend ourselves for values, principles, and God. But see, those don't belong to you. They belong to him. He's Moses on the mountain. It comes out of him. You know, Shan, values, principles, God. You know, don't be aggressive. Stand down. Get aggressive. Say we're standing our ground. You're the devil. Let's go back to it. Long time. And... They've kind of come together and they've been lumped together because everybody's been peaceful. Well, now push comes to shove and you're going to start separating the good from the bad. You're going to have... That's it, pause. You're going to have the government bomb another federal building with a daycare center. And it doesn't matter. We have the names of who did it. They'll just blame us. And, and, and then he'll say, see, I told you I'm not with them. His FBI handlers are telling him, you need to separate yourselves from these people because something's coming. And he's going to point his finger and say, I told you Alex Jones and his group was causing this. And MSNBC is already saying Alex Jones is going to cause bombings. And Media Matters, White House Run, they're all saying with the same voice, Alex Jones is the bad man. And you see, when it all comes down, we all know who to blame, don't we? What's his name? A L E. X, J, O, N, E, S. What does it spell? Terrorist Texan. Man that wanted violence. You don't want to be with those that want violence, Alex Jones, that are offering you freedom. I'm not offering freedom. I'm saying stand up, get involved, do whatever you think. Let's just wake up. Let, let's, 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 let's get involved. Let's say no. We're close to winning. Support Rand Paul, Ted Cruz. No, no, no. I'm wanting violence revolution. And then the government don't join them. Just stand down, which is joining them. Do nothing like you've always done. Any action, saying no to a free speech zone is terrorism. You go get in your free speech zone or we'll tan them and square your butt. And if anybody stands up when a tank's rolling over you, you're a terrorist. And Moses, with his Moses hair, why, he will order God to have the ground open up and swallow you up because, you know, everybody knows on Easter who goes and gives the big speeches at the Washington Monument. I mean, we all know, you know, the man of God who's got all the answers, and you go to him, and that's it. He sits on the throne, speaks ex cathedra. Now, let's go ahead and go. Back to it. Here it is. The Martin Luther King and the Malcolm X movement. You're going to have both of them. And so you have to decide which one of those are you. Are you the Malcolm X and the Malcolm X side? Or are you the Martin Luther King side? I'm both. I'm on the Martin Luther King side. Because that's the winning side. Malcolm X, just think about this. The people that you're dealing with, is there any doubt? I mean, I, I hate to be cri um, uh, cryptic, but I'm not going to give these guys any more press. But the guys that, that are really behind a lot of this really bad stuff. Alex Jones. Stu. 
Any doubt in your mind if there was a glorious revolution, they would set up some kangaroo court and they would try people like you and me and Pat <laughs> and Jeffy, and we would be tried for being um, uh, betraying the revolution? Yeah, I think there's definitely a doubt that there'd be a trial. <laughs> I pause again. Right I've always called for due process. I've called for no violence against Obama. I've called for uh, grand juries and juries and states and the Congress to impeach Obama. And now I want to kill Glenn Beck. I mean, that's what he's saying. We want to try him in a secret court and then off of their heads. While they set up the NDAA, Homeland Security, the Patriot Act, and say they're preparing to do that to the Tea Party, to the Liberty Movement, and we're like, we want to be peaceful, we want the government to stand down, do the right thing, but we got to get armed to protect ourselves. And then his response is, Stu, that's, that, that's like a five-year-old thing. Like, isn't it true that, you know, such, such is a bad person? Isn't it true that they would just try us without trials and set up a dictatorship? That's why I've been against a violent revolution, because it can turn into that. I mean, literally, to hear someone take everything I stand for and turn it on its head. And to know that he's got a whole group of people that watch our show and rip all our stories off and don't give us credit and do all that. But his people listen and like the show. That's why they send us stuff behind the scenes and apologize. And he'll run around trying to find out who that is. It's like half your people, dumbass. They listen to the show and they don't like hearing your garbage. They know I'm good. They know I'm not against you. They know I care. They know I don't want a violent revolution. And they know you're a big fat cult leader liar. <sighs> Makes me really angry. This is the type of stuff being put out. Go ahead. Yeah, right. To, uh, right. Yeah. I mean, these are people who are, are very dangerous. We've had run-ins with them before. Um, they're very dangerous. And, um, and, they're, and they're wildly entangled and involved in this. I don't think the Bundys know. I really don't. I don't think they, I don't think they have any clue um, of some of the people that are there. Most of the people that are there are good. I mean, we've talked to several of them on the phone. I don't want to hear any more. I know there's a bunch of other stuff. Is there more I should play? It's very hard listening to this. So, again, if you just tuned in, he's, he's earlier says Alex Jones is, is this group. I'm just all those people. If some plant comes or some schizophrenic shows up and shoots somebody, that's going to happen in a volatile country melting down in a, in a depression. There'll be real stuff that happens. Well, it's all been cast. Glenn Beck tried to stop it. Alex Jones caused it. Sorry, buddy. We've got all the clips where I've exposed everything. It's all on record. You're not going to frame me. Just like the Southern Poverty Law Center within two hours of a drunk Marine Corps wash-up who had two pit bulls and his mother tried to kick him out and he slapped her around and the cops came and he shot three of them. And within two hours, Richard Poplowski, they had it on the news that he did it for me. Within two hours off his computer. Turned out he was a white supremacist calling for my death, stalking me online for two years, all over the websites and attacking me, and we found all of it, and it was admitted, and they had to retract. Now, why within two hours of three cops getting shot in Pittsburgh would they be blaming Alex Jones? Why would they blame me for the Boston bombing? Why would they do all this? Because, folks, they know I've got their whole plan. I see them. I got the sunglasses on. Rowdy Piper's listening. Like, have you guys made a promo yet with Rowdy Piper when he's on the show? It's just at the end of it. We need a They Live promo. I mean, look, you can't stop the signal. It's already out. I've already said everything. I've already put out the scenarios. I win. So, do whatever you got to do. Play your hand. Because I'm not backing down. My ancestors didn't back down. I don't know how to back down. But frankly, I'm excited about all this. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding and making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize 
realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv.